What's up everyone, this is Cybernat, and today we're going to be opening up a uh, CardFit Vanguard, the Genius Strategy box for you guys. So yeah, this is a box that has, uh, it's mainly featured around three different clans, which is uh, Marikumo, Mega Colony, and Great Nature. So hopefully we get something really awesome from this. They have all kinds of generation rares, there's three types of generation rares, and six types of triple rares in it. So I'm hoping to get one of those generation rares. And also one of my friends was saying that he wants me to get the Mega Colonies, because that's what he's uh, trying to gather up as Mega Colonies. And uh, so I'm I'm hoping maybe I can get some of those and then I also get like the that gold palance from him that I need because I'm looking for some gold palance and some different things too so let's see what we can get also being collectible send me this to do an opening on so be sure to check them out link in the description and yeah let's go on ahead and uh, like I said hopefully get something awesome get some mega colonies because I'm sure I probably won't build them but he wants to build them and if he can help me get like gold paladins or something I want to build that would be really awesome because he plays card fight more than I do, so he knows more about the meta and all that. I'm trying to learn. It's hard to keep up with several card games. Or at least for me. We have a rare, which is already a Mega Colony. That's a G-Unit card, too. That is a Dazzling Mutant Deity Waspy Tail. That's awesome looking. And then we also have another uh, G-Unit, which is a rare, and that is a Lifelong Honorary Professor Sylvist. And that is a Great Nature. You know what? We'll put the Meg Colony to the top. I think you can just stack up the cards like that instead of separating the rares. I don't know. I might rethink that, how I want to sort this. Alright, first off we have a Murakumo rare, and that is a Sword Hunter a Stealth Rogue Oni Waka. And then after that we have another Murakumo. This one's a double rare, though. And that is a Dueling Dragon King uh, Zangeki. Zangeki, I guess? I don't know. It's all in caps, too, so I guess you have to yell it. Zangeki, you know, is the name of this card. If I'm saying it right, I don't know. I could be just saying his name wrong. So that's cool. You know what? Yeah, let's just separate our rares and uh, how ready cards like that, because this is going to... I don't know if we're going to have enough table to keep stacking them side by side. Might be the smarter way of doing this. We'll see. <laughs> We have another Mega Colony, and that is a Machining uh, Dive Beetle, and that is a rare. And then after that, we have a Triple Rare for Maracumos. Man, that guy looks awesome. It is uh, Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue uh, Yasu Yasutima, I guess how you say that. I'm not really sure. It's a G unit, and it looks awesome. Looks like he went Bonkai or something <laughs> from Bleach. I mean, it just looks really cool. It's like a demon sort of wing on him and everything. Huh, that is really amazing looking. So I don't know, that might not that might mean that we're not going to get like a triple rare for Mega Colony. Maybe we're just saving it for that G unit. Whoop. Oh, okay, there we go. Make sure it focused. Camera didn't want to focus there for a little bit. It was scared of the demon. We have A-Rank Mutant uh, Sangrefa, and that is a Mega Colony. And then Stapler Penguin. Great nature. Man, a lot of, that one's really cool looking. I was just kind of looking at that, another one of the Maracumos. We have Stealth Beast uh, Trick Arts, Maracumo, rare. And then we have another double rare, and this one is for Great Nature. It's a hamster with a rocket launcher, really? <laughs> That's pretty cool looking. That is uh, Hensuke's uh, Revival uh, Fountain Pen Hankichi, I guess they say that. Not really sure. So it's a Fountain Pen Bazooka? Not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> so many questions unanswered. That is, because it's like a, I don't know, like an army version of Hamtaro? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> is, is that what's going on? I'm kind of afraid. We have Stealth Beast, uh, Slicer Wolf, Mirakumo, rare. And then we have a uh, Mega Colony. Here we go. It's a G Guardian card, and that is a double rare. Mutant DD uh, Fortification uh, Grace Fort. Guess how you say that? Not really sure. That looks awesome. Man, the Mega Colonies do look really cool. They kind of remind me of, like... They kind of remind me of Digimon, sort of, you know? Like the insect Digimon that we've seen. I don't know, they just look really awesome. Let's see, first off, another Mega Colony that is a rare, and that is a Despot Mutant Airy uh, Antonet. Hemsuke's Revival Oil Based Pin uh, Hamjaru. Yeah, <laughs> and that is a rare, so there you go. 
kind of different names on those. Japanese names are always fun to try to pronounce. Let's see what else we can get. More mega colonies. Looks like we got several, actually, right there. We have a uh, rare, which is Stealth Beast uh, Yashi Bash. Bayashi? Bayashi, I guess I say that? Not really sure. That is Murakumo. And then we have a head of the Bastion uh, Ardillo. And that is a Great Nature G Guardian Double Rare. There we go. Another high rarity card. We're getting a good mix of everything. There. Don't forget the rare. But we're getting a good mix of like all the different clans in this. Because usually it seems like with a box, like of anything, Yu-Gi-Oh! included, you know, it's always like that. Where it seems to always have like a theme. So this one is a little bit more of a mix. We have a Great Nature Rare, and that is Scholarship Student uh, Arabelli. And we have a Generation Rare, and unfortunately, it's not a Mega Colony. So <laughs> he, he might be kind of disappointed about that, but it's really cool looking. That is uh, Omniscience uh, Dragon, uh, I think, I guess I said that. I'm not really sure I said the last part of the name, but this is a really awesome card. I mean, it just looks really cool. I don't know if this is one of the better ones of the set, but like I said, I know uh, my friend is uh, trying to get Mega Colonies, so unfortunately it doesn't look like our Generation Rare is going to be a Mega Colony. Who knows, maybe we'll get another one of these boxes in the future. We have a Rare, which is a Stealth Demon of Crow Feathers of Fungan, Mirakumo, and then also here's a Mega Colony, it is a Childhood Command uh, Rosenberg. Another Rare. Wait, did I actually... yeah I did. <laughs> There. <laughs> I accidentally put a comment in there, too. You can't tell it's one of the first openings of the day. All kinds of mistakes going on. No, you can't tell at all. We have a, another rare for Great Nature, and that is a first-year student, uh, Little Belly. And then after that, we have another rare. With, this is a G-Unit card, too, so that was cool. And that is Ambush Demon Stealth Rogue uh, Kiyohimi. I guess I said that. Murakumo, so. Kind of looks like it goes with our triple rare, I think. It might. Hmm. Let's uh, look and see. And now for our last pack. What can we end with? Guess another generation rare. You know, let's be greedy. We have a uh, uh, Punish Stag, Mega Colony rare. And then we also have a Problem Child Grey Belly, and that is a Great Nature rare. So yeah, there you go. That's the box opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Here's kind of a recap of everything, too. It uh, doesn't look like we got a ton of Mega Colonies, but pretty good amount. I think we got like two double rare Mega Colonies and a pretty good amount of uh, rares and uh, commons, too. So, And I'm just happy, too, that we actually got some... Uh, I think it's a pretty good generation rare to get, and our triple rare, too. They look awesome, at least. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. And, of course, subscribe for more Card Fat Vanguard openings, as well as Future Card Buddy Fight. Y. Schwartz, uh, Force of Will, and Luck and Logic, because there's a lot of Luck and Logic stuff I need to open up next, because they have a new booster set and everything, too. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are looking forward to all of that. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more openings, like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, leave a comment, tell me what other openings you guys want to see in the future. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.